With the ongoing pandemic, school districts are getting creative to find and train substitutes for teaching during the pandemic. KSBY's Aaron Faye sat down with a few school districts to find out exactly what they're doing. Goleta Unified told me they once had to cover 100 teachers after they called in after getting their second COVID shot. We've tried everything to increase the number of subs, and it actually has been very successful. Since before the pandemic, the California Commission on Teacher Credentialing has reported a decrease in applications to become substitute teachers, but the Santa Barbara County Education Office told me it got much worse. Teachers who tend to fill these positions are often retired teachers over the age of 65, or they have other issues like child care concerns. Santa Barbara County Office of Education said there were 91 subs before the pandemic and it went down to 36 last May. At Santa Barbara Unified, the subs decreased from 331 to 254. At Lompoc, it went down from 150 pre-pandemic to less than 100. For a variety of reasons, some are not comfortable physically being in a classroom um, due to the uh, pandemic and their potential exposure. Um, and some aren't comfortable with the technology and substituting oath through a computer. At Goleta Union School District, they went from 135 to fewer than 50 substitutes. At the start of this year, they had 19. Through their efforts, they now have 50. Here's how they did it. They hired three permanent subs per school site. They raised the substitute teacher pay from $120 to $180 per day, and they received training, and they made opportunities for student teachers and classified staff to sub for teachers. Finally, they employ substitutes virtually from across the state. I have substitute teachers from actually all over the state who, are, who will come in to that Zoom session and be able to substitute. To become a substitute teacher, an applicant needs to have a bachelor's degree, complete a tuberculosis test, get fingerprinted and apply. Until COVID, they had to take a test called the CBEST. But during the pandemic, the Commission on Teaching Credentialing waived that requirement. Goleta Union School District told me they will spend three days training substitute teachers so they're comfortable in person and via Zoom. In the studio, Aaron Fay, KSBY News. San Luis Obispo County school officials say they are also experiencing this decline but are still looking for ways to fill the void.